Hello friends, welcome to Codage. In the previous video, we did setup of Jenkins and SonarCube server. In this tutorial, we will create a Jenkins pipeline. As you can see in the diagram, we will configure all the stages. I have already explained the purpose of each stage and the flow in the introduction section. Now let's move directly into the setup. So let's create a new file that will be Jenkins file. Let's give it a name Jenkins file. And in this file, we are going to add multiple stages. So what we have to define, we have to use this tag that is pipeline. So let's use the agent. Currently I'm using any agent here. And let's add the environments variable that we have added in the Jenkins server. So these are the some environments variable that we have added. So this will be our GitHub credential ID. Okay, so you can give any name as per your requirement, but make sure to use the same name in the further stages. So let me open the Jenkins and let's click on the manage Jenkins credentials. So same ID we need to use in the environments variable. Okay, so if you see for the GitHub credential ID, I am using the GitHub token. Then next will be the repository URL. Next is a Sonar authentication token. So here I am using credentials in which I am using the same ID that I have added in the credentials. This is the SonarCube ID. Next is a Docker credential ID. So this will be the Docker of credentials that I have added in the credentials. And last configuration is to define the image name. Okay, so that will be codage hyphen exchange rate. So let's add the multiple stages. So our first stage will be checkout stage in which we will check out the code from the github so this this is how the syntax will be so we have to define the stage this will be the stage name then it will have multiple steps so in this step i am running the script so what i am doing i am doing checkout from git scm this will be your branch name so we have a branch that is main branch and this is your remote configuration so url will be repository url that we have defined here and credential id will be github credential id that is this GitHub token, which will get used from the Jenkins. So this is how it will check out the code. Now next stage will be build stage in which we will build the jar. So what I'm doing here, this will be the step. In this step, I want to run the script. Script will be dot slash gradle w build. And here I'm skipping the test and the smoke test. Now next stage will be unit test. So here it will run the unit test. So command will be dot slash gradle w test. Okay, syntax will be almost same for the every stage. Now next stage I want to add smoke test to run the smoke test. So here the command will be dot slash gradle w run smoke test. This is how it will run the smoke test from our application. Now next stage we will add for the sonar cube analysis. So code will be like this. So stage will be code analysis. Then this is the step in which I am going to run the script. So here I am doing with sonar cube environment. That will be sonar cube. So if you see in the environment variable, if you go into the manage Jenkins, click on the system. And if you remember, we have added one environment variable. So this is the same name we will have to use there. And I'm running the command to run the sonar analysis. So that will be dot slash gradle w sonar. And this will be your sonar authentication token. So here what I'm doing, I'm waiting for the quality gate analysis. Okay. So I'm waiting for the response from the sonar cube server. And if the status is okay, in that case, I will send the sonar cube quality gate pass. If it is not okay, so I will throw the error that is sonar cube quality get failed and our pipeline will get failed. Okay, so once the sonar analysis is done, we will build the image and we will push that Docker image into the Docker hub. So this will be the code for the build and push Docker image stage. So it will have step in which it will have script. So what I'm doing here, I'm taking the first commit hash. So this is how you can get the first commit hash from the head. And using this hash, I'm going to create the image tag. Okay, so I'm just defining one variable that is image tag to which I am assigning this commit hash. 
I'm just printing the image tag in the console. Next, I'm generating the image name with the tag. So this will be the image name. And from where this image name is coming, that we have already defined here. And to which I'm appending the image tag that we have just generated here. I'm just printing that image tag here. Then I'm just logging that push image in the Docker Hub. And this is how you can push that image into the Docker Hub. So what I'm doing here, I'm using the Docker Hub URL, Docker credential ID that I have defined here. And this is going to fetch from the Jenkins server. And here I'm building the image and I'm pushing that image into the Docker Hub repository. After this, I am adding this commit hash in the environment variable that is commit hash, which we will use in the next stage. So once the image is pushed into the Docker app, our next stage will be deploying that image on the dev environment or running the container in the dev environment. So this will be the code for the deploy on dev stage. So let's understand what is happening here. So this will be the stage name that is deploy on dev. It will have a step in which it will have script. So what I'm doing here, I'm defining the container name that will be exchange rates hyphen container. And then I'm getting the image tag that is generated in the previous step. So I have assigned the commit hash to this environment variable. So I'm using the same environment variable here. Now what I'm doing here, I'm checking if the container is already running. If it is already running, then we will stop that container and we will remove that container from the Docker. So this is the command for that. I'm just checking if this particular container is running. Then I'm just stopping it using docker stop command. After that, I am removing the container. After that, we will run the new container with the new image that we have just pushed in the previous step. So for that, what I am doing, docker run hyphen d name of the container and running that service on the 8090. So by default, it is going to run on 8080. I am just doing the port forward on the 8090. And next, it will have the image name and the tag. So this is a generic docker command to run any container. Okay, so once our container is ready, what we will do, we will do a health check. So let's add one more stage here. So this will be the code for the health stage. So stage name will be health check on the day environment. So it will have a script like this. I am just logging, performing the health check. Then I am just adding the pause statement here. So it will just sleep for the 30 seconds just to get the container started. So this is our health URL from our application. We are using actuator, correct? Then what I'm doing, I'm just running this URL using the curl command. And I'm just getting that output into the response variable and just logging that output. After that, what I'm doing, I'm just reading that JSON, okay? And I'm assigning that to the JSON response. And from this JSON response, I'm getting the status. So let me open the URL. So I think this was the response. So when you hit this URL, that is actuator slash health, you will get the response as a status colon up. Okay, so we are checking the same thing here in the status. So from the response, we are getting the status, correct? And from status, we are just checking if it is up, that means our application is healthy. Else, we are going to throw the error that application is not healthy so after this we can add one more stage to update the image tag in the helm chart but that we will do when we will set up the ergo cd and when we will deploy our application to the kubernetes so let's add the configuration for the post activity for your jenkins pipeline so what we are doing here in case the jenkins pipeline get failed the control will come to this block that is failure block and here you can handle the failures. If the pipeline gets successful, it will go to this block. And from this block, you can handle the multiple activity. Like if you want to send the email, or if you want to send some alerts that you can do from this stage. And here what I'm doing, I'm just cleaning up the workspace. So basically it create the jar file locally, correct? Just to clean up the space, I'm using this clean WS function. So let's push this code into the GitHub repository. Okay, so if you go to the GitHub, you can see we have code for the Jenkins. 
Now let's go to the Jenkins. So let's click on the create job. Let's give the name and let's select the pipeline option here. Click on the OK. Now, if you go to the definition, let's select the pipeline script from the SCM. So, SCM will be Git. Okay. What will be the repository URL? Let's go into the GitHub and just copy this HTTP yes URL. Okay. What will be the credentials that we have already added? So, this will be the credential for the GitHub. Branch to build will be main. And here we need to provide the path of our Jenkins file. So, if you go into the GitHub repository, Jenkins file is in the CI CD CI folder. Okay. And in that CI folder, we have created the Jenkins file. So, path will be like this ci cd slash ci slash jenkins file and let's click on the apply and the save okay so our pipeline is ready so let's click on the build now option here so pipeline will get started and let me click on this three option here let me click on the console output now here you can see the stages that is running in the background. So let me go back into the stage view. If you click on the logs, here as well you can see the logs from the Jenkins pipeline. Now if you are following this tutorial and if you are going to practice this Jenkins pipeline, there are chances that it is not going to pass in the first go. Okay, so you will have to try it out. So you will get some compilation issues and all. So you will have to find it out and you will have to work on it and you will have to run this multiple times. Now it is running the smoke test. Now it is doing the code analysis. So let me go into the console. And you can see it is getting failed for the sonar cube. So if you see here, it is not able to find the task sonar in the gradle file. So let's go back into the project. And let's open the build.gradle file that is in the parent folder. Okay. And here we will add the plugin for the sonar cube. So this will be the plugin for the sonar cube. And let's add some property for the sonar cube. So here I am going to use sonar cube function and in which it will have properties like sonar cube, project key, sonar project name, and the sonar host URL that will be localhost 9001. Okay. Let's refresh the dependencies. Let's push these changes into the GitHub repository. Now let's go back into the Jenkins. And let's build the pipeline. Okay, so our pipeline is passed. And let's go into the SonarCube server. And just refresh it. Click on the projects. So here you can see our project is added here. Let's click on the exchange rates. So there is no code smell here. And also you can see the status that is passed. Okay, so let's add some code smell here. Let's open one unit test. Now, if you remember at the time of development, I said that we are going to use this for the sonar cube purpose. Okay. So let's uncomment this and let's add the exception and let's push this code. Okay. And let's build the pipeline again. Now, if you remember, we have created one quality gate here. And if you see, we have added one condition. If the code smell is greater than zero, then quality gate will get. Build. Okay, so let's build the pipeline again. Okay, now if you see our quality gate is failed. So you can see it is showing the error signal. Let me go into the console. 
and here you can see quality gate is error let's go into the sonar cube server click on the projects so you can see it is showing the field and here it is showing the codes mail okay so it is showing the remove this use of trade dot slip and it is also showing the code as well okay so let me roll back this code and let me push these changes and let's rebuild the pipeline now you can see quality gate is getting pass okay okay so our pipeline is passed if you go back into the sonar cube server let's click on the projects you can see it is passed that's it for this lecture in the next video we will see how to set up Argo CD in the Kubernetes environment. Thanks for watching the video.